guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are finally back on our 2019 Canon Maverick X3. And as you've seen in the previous video, we did a ton of upgrades to this thing and they are not gonna stop there because today we got a lot more aftermarket parts from Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. They got all your UTV, ATV, and motocross needs. So I'm gonna be leaving their link down below. Definitely check them out for all that good stuff. But right now we got some packages in. We're gonna start with the first one and then we're gonna go ahead and install it. So we got a brand new windshield in, man. This thing is crystal clear. I think this is the original Can-Am one, yep. Original Can-Am. Dude, this thing is gonna definitely help us with the cold, especially, and with the uh, dust, dirt, rocks, everything bugs. that flies into your, yeah, bugs especially, that flies into your eyes. So I think we have all the mountain hardware right here. Let's go ahead and see that. I think there's just clips that it clips onto. So we got all the mountain hardware. So let's go ahead, throw this sucker on. on and this thing looks absolutely amazing dude you can't even see it honestly it's so clear from this side it looks a lot better I oh yeah it looks really good and it, it's all sealed up nicely right here so you're not going to get no cold air hitting you while you're driving and this thing came out really nice i love how it goes all the way up here we we're thinking about aftermarket cages and stuff like that and they do block a lot of uh visibility honestly and you can't run oem windshields like this so i think this is the best windshield for us for what we're going to be doing we're not going to be going through some crazy mud or stuff like that because we're we're mostly doing jumps and hill climbing so this is going to be perfect dude you're going to have visibility all the way up to the top but right now let's go ahead and install a roof we finally got our aluminum roof in right here this thing is gonna be sick. It's gonna completely transform the look of it. Right now it looks good, but I'm telling you, with the windshield it's on and the roof. Definitely needed a roof, man. It just, it just looks odd like that. Yeah, you know it looks I mean? kind of weird, but a roof, and then I'm thinking it's gonna look completely different. So let's go ahead and crack this sucker open and see exactly what we got. Whew. That, now this one right here is not an OEM roof. I know they're shaped this, like the same yeah, way, right? Yeah, they're shaped exactly the same as an OEM roof, but it's just aluminum instead of plastic, which I think it looks a lot better like that. And, yeah, it's gonna uh, match our doors as well. Yeah, and it's gonna match our doors because it's that exact same color right there, which Dude. looks really good. Uh, I think we got some hardware right here, perfect hardware. And we got some nice foam tape, so it'll be nice and quiet. So let's go ahead and try to throw this sucker on. Solid. She's solid, man. She's solid nice. and quiet, dude. That looks sick, dude. dude. I love how it looks. But there's gonna be something in front of that. Coming yeah. here real soon. Coming here real soon. Real there's gonna soon. be a little light bar here. I'll yeah. go ahead and say it. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do a nice little uh, one. Single one, row. Single row light bar right here just to give it more light at night. But dude, this looks sick. Definitely matches our doors 100%, dude. That is awesome, dude. Love it, dude, love it. Now. What do we got next? We got some pretty amazing things for this thing. I we got love some really amazing things still coming too. We got we got some stuff still coming, but I don't know if we should show them. You know, I mean, might as well. It's uh, there ain't no hiding behind this glass I right now. I don't here. know, man, dude. I don't know, but it is just a regular box. It's a 29 by 24 by one. So by whatever that is, I don't really know. Go ahead and start cutting right into it and see exactly what we got, man. Dang, they got this thing foamed out. 
you know, they want to make sure it gets here safe and undamaged. So I like that. I've never seen that before. UPS guy, let's go ahead and grab some packages. UPS is dark. Probably more parts for this thing. What? Let's go grab it. Dude, UPS out here at night. Ah, uh, it was nothing for the K&M sucks, but let's get back to this box right here of these goodies. What do we do? Do we just rip this or what? Yeah, let's just Oh, man, this is a mess. Ooh, see a little bit of carbon. Where? Where do you see carbon? Let's get to that first. I think so. Oh my goodness, how do they get this stuff out of here? Maybe we have to just tilt the whole box upside down. No, it's it's straight from to the sides also. You gotta dig into it. Golly. Yeah, dude. Is that the tip? That's the tip, man. Dude, you wanna open it up or? Yes, I wanna open it up. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, dude. opening it. I'm trying to. Slice and dice it. This is going to be crazy, dude. Dude, dude check and that out, man. The sun. That's going to look real good back there, dude. That's going to that's gonna take up the whole like triangle look over there in that plastic piece. Dude, that is sick. Dude, look at all that, dude. That's some high quality stuff what right there. Titanium or just titanium. steel? Titanium. No, it's light. Feel that. Feel how light that is. Dang, yeah, that sucker is gonna sound good, I think. I mean, oh, it's yeah. a Yoshi. It was about a thousand bucks, I believe. Yeah, something something like 900, almost a thousand. We got a pretty good deal on it, so. Let's go ahead, take this whole entire exhaust out of this box right here and try to set it up, man. Here goes the before and after, so we're gonna do the before with the stock exhaust. Go ahead, give it a few revs. That's, that's good enough. That don't sound like nothing, just like a bumblebee or a bee buzzing or something. I just hear motor, you know. I need to hear exhaust tone. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? So. What do you think? We're gonna have to take some of this stuff apart here. We may have to take this whole entire rear bumper off, which is gonna mean we're gonna have to take uh, apart these control arms, which sucks, we're gonna have to realign it, but it's actually really simple lining this stuff. Honestly, you just move it around until it's nice and straight, and then you just tighten them straight up. Yep. So yeah. let's go ahead and start removing what we need to remove. We had to get pops on it. <laughs> and we he... may still have to remove it though because the uh, new exhaust don't want to scratch it up, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But he's proving a point right here. He said he can take it out. He said I'll give you $5. <laughs> and you he wants that $5 on <laughs> Dang, perfect. We were thinking, yeah, we, we were gonna have to remove that, but it looks like we might not have to at this point. Maybe, yeah, it depends, we uh, because our new exhaust may stick out a little bit more, so we may have to pop it off, but right now, let's just go ahead and try to remove that old exhaust, man. That thing is a big canister, look at that. Yeah, dude, that's, that sucker right there is a silence. You hear that? We need some weight reduction on that. Yeah, let's throw some titanium at it. Yeah, let's go ahead and start removing this bad boy. So we actually had to go ahead and remove the rear bumper because it was just really difficult to actually get the exhaust off itself, but we managed to do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and actually start assembling our exhaust. You gotta first put it together and then it actually slides on here. We're thinking about or debating if we should go ahead and uh, what gut, do you, gut, gut, that, gut that cat. Yeah, we're thinking about gutting that little cat right here, but then again, we're thinking about it may be too loud or it may not sound as good as it does with the cat. It just gives it a nice smooth tone. Or we may go ahead and go with the aftermarket one later on, maybe a little cutout, you know, the exhaust open on the yeah, side. Yeah, I, re I really would like to thing kind of spit flames a little bit. Maybe yeah, it would. Like maybe. that Cletus build, you know. Oh dude, man, Cletus' is, Can-Am is sick, Perfect, dude. it's sick. We may, we may do a little cutout just like that, but for right now, let's go ahead and put this exhaust together and then we're gonna go ahead and slide it on.
right, so it's finally all back together with the new exhaust and it looks absolutely crazy, dude. Just check out that little triangle exhaust, uh, tri exhaust tips, dude. It's it looks looking sick. pretty. Yeah, it looks definitely sick. Let's go ahead and start it up because I've been anxious trying to see what this thing actually sounds like. Oh yeah, a lot deeper tone. But I bet it's gonna sound a lot better on the rev. Let it warm up a little bit. Or I'm, I'm just gonna send it. Send it, dude. I think we might we might have to delete the cat. Delete the cat. <laughs> now we gotta go down the road and to see exactly yeah, what it sounds like. Let it warm like. up. It's still kind of cold, but. It's a, a lot deeper tone, yeah, but nothing deeper. too crazy. We gotta get on it, you know, get on it a little bit to see what it sounds like. Because RPMs ain't gonna really tell you unless you get like some, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Some, some weight on it. Some weight on it. All right, so I just did some road tests to kind of just see what it sounds like with some power behind it. And it does sound a lot better when you're actually driving it. As of right now, it still kind of sounds the same, just a little bit more deeper. But tomorrow we're gonna actually give you guys some better tests, so we'll catch you guys then. All right, so we are here at some better proving ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this thing around a little bit and show you guys what this exhaust sounds like. Come on, Billy, let her scream, man. Let her scream with that stock cat. But it looks cool, though. It looks cool. Go ahead. <laughs> So it does sound a little bit better and it pops a little bit, which I really like, but I expected a lot more from this Yoshimura exhaust. I mean, it was $900 and it barely changed the sound of it. It does look good though, but I think we need to go ahead and remove that little kitty back there so it sounds a whole lot better. So let's go ahead, head back to the house and take this exhaust off once again. All right, so we got the pipe out. We completely gutted that cat. Just check out that restriction right there, man. That's just mm. blocking tons of horsepower, man. What's so valuable valuable about this right here? They scrapped them suckers for like a hundred bucks or something. I don't know if that's all, only on cars or this thing has the same thing, but we completely gutted it. We just went ahead and cut it straight open because I think that's just the easier method. And then we're just gonna weld it right back up. And I think this thing is just gonna absolutely scream now, or at least it's gonna be Perform. more turbo sound. You know what I mean? So this is awesome. I'm glad we're doing this right now. So let's go ahead and actually weld this sucker back up and then throw it back on the thing. All right, so everything is finally back together. All that work just to get this sucker out, but hopefully it sounds a lot better and maybe it performs a little bit better. So let's go ahead, test it out. a lot louder dude it sounds sick dude. i feel like it got a lot more throttle response just like a little bit it just feels a lot different different animal needs a tune though yeah it's definitely would, would need a nice little tune to spit more flames about 10 feet wide yep try to get about some flame shooting out of there but dude, it rides a lot different let's head back let's do it 
So back at the garage here, we still got a ton of things that we want to install in this Can-Am, but we're actually going to move on to the LEDs. We got some whip lights from DC Whips. These suckers are going to be very bright, and we also got some rock lights right here, so this whole entire Can-Am is going to be lit up. So let's go ahead and actually open this package up and see how we're going to mount these suckers. Oh, dude. These suckers are going to be bright, man. They look cool. Look at all them LEDs on it. Oh, we do got some flags on it as well. Dang. Dude. Where are we going to put them suckers? I have no idea. We still got a tire carrier that goes right here, so I don't really know if that's going to get in the way later. So we got to kind of be smart about this where we mount these suckers. But, dude, I definitely want to hook these up for tonight, man. I know. That would be sick. It's, it's night time, and we need... What are those? What? Are them rock lights? Dude. Oh, I man. I think so. We may have to just use them rock lights dude, right these there. these look so much brighter. I know, they look crazy. Definitely there's, gonna be using them rock lights. There's like for 10 sure. LEDs right here, but let's go ahead and actually figure this stuff out and start mounting. connected and they look absolutely amazing we actually just wired them up to these tail lights we also got this tail light working that didn't used to work before just had to do a little bit of custom wiring but these are looking absolutely amazing and another cool feature about these things is that you can just unplug them you can just pop them off like that if you need to like pull into a trailer or something like that but that's gonna be pretty much it. We couldn't get to the rock lights because it is super late, but we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day and we're actually gonna continue with the LEDs and we're gonna crack open these rock lights and install them in all four corners because I think it'll look sick at night. And it'll actually help with night crawling as well. So let's go ahead and open this box up and start wiring these suckers up. So the rock lights are finally connected and check this out it is bluetooth uh, controlled pretty much you can control it by phone only and you got all these different colors you got lime green you got blue or oh, that wasn't lime green i mean you got a whole rainbow here of colors which is pretty cool and you can also connect to music so we're gonna have to test these out at night for sure but now let's move on to the next thing that we got this is supposed to be a nice can am red looks like orange but they call it red for some reason Go ahead and rip it out. Also by Dragonfire, which the Dragonfire stuff already has been fire. Oh yeah, definitely looks good. That's why they call it Dragonfire, I guess. But we're gonna install this and then we're gonna do some ripping, man. We've been installing too many things, man. It's time for- Yeah, some. more ripping, less installing. <laughs> but it's fun installing this stuff as well, so. Super excited to see what we got here. Let's check them out. This Ooh. is actually some nice uh, orange. I, I think it's orange. They call oh. this stuff red. I don't know why. Does it look red to you guys? I and mean, when you got the Ferrari in the background and then this looks orange. Like back in elementary school, this would be red. You know what I mean? It's weird oh. stuff like that. But I don't know. But crack that sucker open. Let's throw these suckers on. I think it's going to go really well because there's basically no orange on this on the sides of the car, yeah. you know? Did we say what this was? These are rock sliders. <laughs> these are rock sliders. They're going to look absolutely amazing for appearance and also when we're going to be off road this thing like super steep stuff we don't want rocks banging up against the side of our plastics here so let's go ahead and figure out how we're gonna mount these suckers and install them
All right, so we kind of made a mistake when we ordered these rock sliders. We were just trying to mount them up and we noticed that these are not made for this Maverick right here. The mounting points are a lot different. Those are made for like the Canon Maverick Trail and Sport. We got the X3 and the bars are just set into different areas. So I'm definitely gonna have to return those because they're pretty pricey and I'm gonna have to reorder some for this. Uh, Maverick here and because we really want to run those they look absolutely amazing But in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and throw on our new air filter and then we're gonna do some ripping So we're out here at some better proven grounds and look what we got. What did you bring with you? I brought the 5.7 liter Hemi supercharge right here and I'm about to put it to the test with that thing right there, the twin turbo. I wish <laughs> it was twin turbo. Single turbo. Single turbo Can-Am Maverick X3. He's got all-wheel drive. I'm probably gonna be doing in two-wheel drive. And we're just gonna do some simple basic launches and just to kind of see what we're working with, see what kind of uh, launches this thing's got. Three cylinder versus eight cylinder. So let's see what this thing got. All wheel drive versus rear wheel drive. So. Just for the heck of it. Let's let's send it. Let's launch it. So we just put them to the test. Uh, first of all, you were in two wheel drive the first the time. first time, and you took me quick. And dude. it launched like crazy, boost hit in right away, and it took off. I was wondering why you were so far back. And then the second pull, we actually did. I did all wheel drive, I turned that sucker in four wheel drive, and that joint. Yeah, it launched, took off. I couldn't dude. even catch up. No, no close competition, especially with these tires. There's just no grip at all. But dude, that thing actually rips hard in four-wheel drive. Dude, I ain't gonna lie, that sucker kept up. Off-roading this thing is pretty crazy. Yeah, supercharger is insane, dude. Alrighty, guys, so that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed us ripping both of these things. I hope you guys are enjoying the Can-Am build as well. But make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. Also, guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you haven't, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and copy some merch and help support your boys. But that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Drop your comments and thoughts down below below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.